Japanese man in the red. Ryotaro Araga. The Frenchman in the blue. There's Araga. Kenji Rion from France. Rion was speedy in his semifinal matchup. Araga, very technical. See the explosiveness, just heating up those legs. Gold medal match about to get underway. You can see the athleticism in Grillon. And you can just feel the confidence in the French combatant. Yeah. And Araga is very relaxed. Oh, really? And Araga, I think, may have scored there. Yes, one point for Araga. First blood. His feints are very different than many of the other Karatekas we've seen today. And there we see the three points, the Ippon. As Araga began moving to his left, Grillon shut the door with the right leg to the head. He walked right into it. He set a trap, and he walked into it. Grillon, explosive, long, Hoping that Araga will move in so he can take advantage. Takes a few steps forward to allow the Japanese fighter to move forward himself. And then he looks to counter. Yeah, and he's got a loaded right hand here. We saw the right head kick. He's trying to get Araga to chase him. That's how he was able to catch that head kick. See as he moves laterally. Sometimes your footwork gives you different angles of entry, and sometimes it makes your opponent chase you. Looking for the takedown. Not able to land a strike after the takedown. But uh, the Frenchman is really showing a diverse set of skills here. The head kick, the takedown punches. One warning issued to Araga of Japan. For holding when Grillon took him down. See who they think got there first. I think it will be Grillon. Yes, it will. Grillon looking good for the gold here with two and a half minutes remaining and a three point lead. And a good diversity of skills and movement. Changing directions back and forth. He's got to get things going here. And there's enough time to pick away at these points with a point to point to point. But uh, if he can set up a kick, we've seen so few kicks to the body, the two points score today. Maybe show something that Grillon has not been seeing throughout this time. He's considering a spinning back kick. Grillon not willing to be a stationary target for his Japanese adversary. How about point? Both being warned for inactivity. Grillon is the one that can be defensive here with a bit of a lead, and he can look to counter. He will try to make Araga uh, chase him. Oh, that might be a head kick for Araga. I do not think so. No points. Less than a minute and a half remaining in this gold medal matchup. Araga is the one that needs to get to work here. Grillon has the luxury of being defensive, but chooses to go on the offense. Look at the speed at which Grillon can flee the, the uh, combat range. And if he can flee that range, and make Araga overcommit to chasing him, he can not only protect this lead, but he can add to it by counter. Araga looking to target the head area with that round kick. 
just dances now. No sense of urgency for the Japanese. Karataka. You've got to take that scale and weigh patience and urgency. And urgency starts to gain a lot. Oh, beautiful reach with the heel. And you see the frustration on the face of the Japanese fighter. Raising his hands, wondering why he wasn't given any points for that technique. Yeah. He has not shown the propensity to look for a takedown yet throughout his tournament. That would be a way that he could potentially tie this up. Or the head kick. This is Chase's the head kick. Now tries to take down. Ten seconds remaining. Rion. Very, very uh, well-rounded in his skills. You add to that his athleticism mm -hmm. and his speed. I think you have a gold medalist. And it's five seconds, you might. Look for that same reaching heel. Oh, he's close there on the head kick. But it is Grion with the gold medal. A great performance from Kenji Grion. Just an outstanding, very complete performance. And it seems the crowd is not satisfied with what transpired. But either way, we had a great battle here in the men's under 84 kilogram gold medal contest. Kenji Grion walks away with the medal. Top spots here in St. Petersburg.